What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the new kernel exploit 5.05 .05, which was released yesterday, May 27th, uh, for your PS4. So you can do this kernel exploit, it's a full jailbreak just like 4.55 except it's for a newer firmware 5.05. .05. You always want to, uh, you know, have a jailbreak on the, on the most up to date firmware possible because that allows you to play newer games and apps. Uh, on that firmware. So you can do this exploit if you are if you are on firmware version 5.05 .05 or lower uh, then you can do this exploit. If you are past 5.05, .05, if you've updated to 5.53 or 5.55 then unfortunately you're not going to be able to do this exploit. So first of all uh, what you're going to want to do to start with if you're already on a previous jailbreak like 4.05 .05 or 4.55 then you need to go into the web browser, go onto your WebKit exploit in 4.55 and make sure you initiate the enable updates payload because you probably have the updates blocked. You may not, but most people have them blocked uh, so you don't accidentally update to the latest firmware when you're you know, on your exploited firmware. So you want to go ahead and enable updates and that will allow you to install the, the update. So. Uh, you don't have to do that obviously if you are not on a, a jailbreak uh, currently. So what you're going to want to do then is head to the settings. Now everybody should do this. Go to network and uncheck connect to internet so you don't accidentally update from PSN which will install the latest firmware which is not the one we want. And you also want to go into system automatic downloads and disable system software update files which will again just an extra safety precaution to prevent you from accidentally downloading the latest update from PSN. So the next thing you want to do is go to settings and then scroll down to system and then system information and check the system software version that you're currently on. So I'm on 4.55 right now. So if you are on, if you are already on 5.05, .05, then you don't need to install the update because you're already on the firmware that you need to be on. But if you're any firmware lower than 5.05, .05, like me, uh, then you need to go ahead and install the 5.05 .05 firmware. So to do that, we're going to head over to the computer. So, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and download the 5.05 .05 firmware update. So you can get it from, um, I'll put both sites here that you can get it from. So you can get it from uh, darksoftware.xyz forward slash ps4 forward slash fw list, which is firmware list. And then scroll down to version 5.05 .05 down here. That's the one you want and go ahead and download it. There's also, um, you can also access it here on sce.party. Uh, page equals firmwares. So if you go to resources, select firmwares and then scroll down to 5.05 .05 and download it. So once you have it downloaded, if you downloaded the one from Dark Software, it will be called 5.05retail.pup. You need to rename that to ps4update.pup in uppercase characters. So then you'll need a USB stick. So you want to go ahead and make sure that the USB stick you're using is in XFAT or FAT32 format. If it's not, then you can right click and format it and select XFAT or FAT32 and click start. So once it's in FAT32 or XFAT, you want to go into your USB stick and create a new folder called PS4 in uppercase characters. Then go into this folder, create another folder called update also in uppercase characters. And then you want to go ahead and just drag your update file into this folder. And once that's transferred across, will be able to install the update from this USB stick. So once it's copied over, you just want to unplug the USB stick from your computer and plug it back into the PS4. Okay, so now that we're back onto the PS4 with your USB stick plugged in, you want to head back into the settings and go down to system software update. And it should come up with 5.05. .05. Make sure it does, make sure it doesn't say like 5.5. 50 or 5.55 the latest firmware for the PS4 because if you have an update already pending from PSN that you've already downloaded but it's just waiting to be installed then it will prioritize that over the one on the USB so just make sure it's definitely 5.05 .05, and then click next and update and then it will start updating the firmware. 
and then you'll have to wait a while for this because it's going to restart the PS4 possibly a couple of times um, and, then, and then you'll have the 5.05 firmware installed. Okay, here we go guys, we're back. Let's see, it should say firmware version has been installed in the top left. Yep, there we go, 5.05. So we're now on 5.05. And of course, if I try and access the internet browser... Oh, interesting. I have access to it. I'm surprised. Normally that would be blocked. After reinstalling the firmware, I would have thought. But, yeah, okay. I was expecting that to not work but it still is working for some reason so anyway let's just check to make sure that that is installed so we go to settings scroll down to uh, system system information and we have 5.05 so we're ready to do the exploit now okay so next thing we need to do now is re-enable the the internet uh, so before you do this obviously if you have access to the internet browser that's fine because then you can access your web kits from within here but if you're doing this from a non-exploited console before uh, to 5.05 then you're not going to have access to the internet browser whenever you click it it's just going to say that you need to be signed into PSN in order to use it so if that happens then what you need to do is head to network and I recommend everybody does this because it will also block um, system updates as well. So what you want to do is uh, connect to internet, set up an internet connection, use whichever you know method you normally use, Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Okay, and then automatic IP, do not specify host name, do a manual DNS. So for the DNS, you want to enter one of these two addresses, um, primarily both. Uh, so if you put in 108, point 61 point uh, 128.158 uh, as the primary DNS and then for the secondary DNS you want to put 165.227.1.1 uh, and finally point 0.145 so put in those two addresses as your primary and secondary DNS and then just do automatic MTU, do not specify proxy and your internet settings should be updated. So now that that's done, if we head to the user guide, it should load our exploit page. So that's a way to access it if you don't have access to the web browser. If you keep clicking the web browser and it's refusing to allow you to use the web browser, then you can use uh, you can access the exploit page through the user guide instead. You can just head to 5.05 and then you've got some payloads in here. I'm sure more will be added eventually. Right now all you have is the blocker payload to block the updates. You've got the dumper to dump your games, FTP to connect, uh, remotely connect your hard drive through FTP, and Mira, which I think may also be Hen as well. It might be Mira plus Hen, I'm not sure. Um, so you have access to it there. Uh, hopefully you also have access to the internet browser because I haven't seen any enable web browser payloads yet but it, it is only one day after the exploit's been released so if that um, you know I might make a separate video if, if, if that is required although it didn't seem to be required for me I did the update and I still had access to the web browser it's not blocked like it normally is so maybe maybe that's not required on 5.05 I'm not sure Anyway, so if you do have access to the web browser, of course, you can just, you know, put in the IP addresses into the URL bar to access the, uh, the exploits, um, and then you can just add that as a bookmark. There's also other um, places that host the, the WebKit exploit that might have some more payloads, like um, if you go to ps4exploits.darksoftware.xyz, but that also has the, the kernel exploit hosted, 5.05 and uh, it looks like they pretty much have the same stuff the webkit that's an older exploit for five for like 5.01 to 5.05 but uh yeah it's pretty much just got the same stuff hen plus mira let's enable this and see if this works here nope not enough free system memory now this is something that you're going to run into a lot when when a new firmware exploit or a new kernel exploit comes out there's always there's always stability issues in the beginning it's like I can't even get anything to load right now 
Let's delete all of this crap. And we'll also delete cookies and website data. See if we can actually get one of these payloads to load. Hey, there we go. That seems successful. Although I don't, that just seemed like it was Mira on its own. It doesn't look like that's also, I mean, I don't know. Let, let me try a PS2 game. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's running. So Mira is Mira plus Hen as well. So it's also the homebrew enabler, which is pretty awesome. So, um, so yeah, this is something I'm planning on doing a video on probably next, which is going to be um, code breaker cheats for PS2 games that you can run on your PS4. But just to show that the actual game runs here. There you go. Wait, that's not flickering anymore. Huh. Interesting. There's normally a glitch with this um, this PS2 game where it flickers. I wonder if the 5.05 .05 kernel exploit has actually made the PS2 emulator more stable. Interesting. But yeah, as you can see, the game is running. PS2 game running on the PS4 on 5.05, .05, showing that the exploit is fully up and running. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate that. And I'll have lots more videos on 5.05 .05 coming soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.